Hey everybody, this is Pamela. And this is Tracy. And we are here to discuss how business really works. Today we're continuing our series on the top predictors of business owner success. Mm -hmm. Last week we discussed belief and how belief is one of the top predictors of success. And this week we're going to discuss vision and how a great vision creates the drive and passion to achieve the vision. So what is a visionary? A visionary is someone who has a long-term big picture vision of how they want to affect the world, but it's also a detailed picture. So there's this sort of movie in their mind of what they hold the future to be. Yeah, they think and see how it's going to affect the world, mm -hmm. how it's going to affect their customers, what their life is going to be like, what their business is going to be like, and how it's going to affect those that are involved. Right. And they're also emotionally invested in this vision. And they realize that it's not really important how we get to the vision, but that we get there at all. Yeah. Most importantly, I think they, a really good visionary is going to realize that the tools, mm -hmm. the path, mm -hmm the techniques that we use to create this vision, it's not what's important. The result is what's important. Right, right. They keep things in perspective and they're able to make decisions that serve their vision rather than detract from it. And they know that any failures that they may encounter are really not a failure. They are the next step to success and really kind of a new beginning. Yeah. They understand that how we get there mm -hmm. isn't anywhere near as important as the why we get there. That's right. The why is very important. So Pam, mm -hmm. do you know of a company that has a really great vision? I do. <laughs> I actually am a fan of this company. I buy their products. I participate in their Facebook chats. It's a makeup and skincare company called Paula's Choice. Paula Begon is the founder of Paula's Choice and probably 40 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, I think she was working in the cosmetics industry as a consultant. And what she found was that a lot of these big cosmetics companies and a lot of the magazines and popular articles that were out there were disseminating basically false information. I mean, they weren't necessarily doing it maliciously, but she noticed that a lot of the information they were putting out about what is effective for skincare and what's not, was not correct and it was actually harming people's skin rather than helping them. So she had a vision to create her own company where she started reviewing products that are good for your skin based on actual science, not based on hype or anything like that. So she sticks to the studies and she only disseminates information that are borne out by scientific studies. But her vision for this company was twofold. It was to create educated consumers. So she wanted to take these consumers that had been kind of believing all this hype and transform them into educated consumers that would then purchase products that were really good for their skin and become beautiful in the process, have good skin, use great makeup, etc. So her vision was partly to transform her customers and also transform the results that they got. And that is the kind of strong vision that can carry your company through a lot of trials and tribulations. So this is a company, makeup, skincare. I mean, we're not talking about solving world hunger, <laughs> but we are talking about a company that has had a huge impact on the world. She's gained quite an incredible following. Obviously, I'm one of them, and I'm not paid <laughs> to say any of these things. I'm not associated with the company. I'm just a customer, like anybody else. But I know over the years what her vision is because I've read her articles and I've watched the videos that she puts out and her team. And it's a very strong vision that has impacted me personally and I know a lot of other people. So it's a great example of a company and a founder that have a very strong vision of how they want to transform the world. And you know, Pamela, mm -hmm. a great vision gives you the drive and the passion to achieve the vision. That's Absolutely correct, and I know in my case, so there are a lot of things that I don't like to have to do in my own business. I'm building this lifestyle business, which we've mentioned before. For instance, I would love it if I had a DP every time I wanted to create a video, I didn't have to set up my camera and my lighting and 
the exact position of my body in relation to the set and all the stuff, it would be great if I had somebody all the time to help me do that. I don't. I sometimes get help, sometimes not, but it's really me creating it most of the time. But I do that because it's more important to me to fulfill my vision of what I'm trying to achieve with my lifestyle channel. And so stuff like setting up the camera, okay, it's kind of a pain in my butt, but I do that willingly because it's all part of creating my vision. Same with setting up my e-commerce store. I know how to do that. I can do it well. I would prefer not to spend my time doing that, but right now where I'm at just with my resources, I have to do a lot of this myself. And again, it's just something that I have to do <laughs> no matter how I feel about it because it serves my vision. So do you have a vision and is it in detail? Is there a motion picture? I know it kind of sounds like a daunting task. It mm. used to, to me too. I used to could think like six months to a year in advance, but really getting like this huge vision of how things are going to change. Mm. What I'm doing is going to affect everyone involved and the world. That was a little harder to realize. Mm. And you know, you think of people who have those kind of visions as like being someone who's going to start a charity. No. Everything you do every day, the reason you have a business, it's going to affect things. You are going to, as we mentioned last time, create life. Right. So you have to just keep practicing. Just practice. Start with the story and every day add more details and keep this running. This is not really like a, um, what would you say, a mission statement? No, it's bigger than that. It's a really big mission yeah. statement. Plus, half the time people... Work real hard to write that mission yeah. statement in a year. Everybody's forgotten it. It's gone, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> or it's posted on the wall and nobody ever looks at it. This is something you do every day. Yes. You run it through your mind. Right. So it, we, if you recall, if you watched our goal setting episode, Productivity and Goal Setting, we'll put a link to it in the show description. We talk about creating the vision for your life. And we used an example of creating a vision five years out. You can choose that. You can choose three. You can choose seven. Whatever works for you. But we went through the steps of how to create a very detailed vision for a very specific future point in your life. So definitely check that episode out because it's it kind of dovetails right on what we're talking about and will help you execute on what we're talking about today. True. Mm -hmm. Now, what we want to know is what is your vision mm -hmm. and have you created the motion picture of it yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if you're watching the video, please comment below. If you're listening on one of the podcasts, please head on over to HowBusinessReallyWorks.com mm -hmm. and let us know there. There's plenty of places there where you can chat us up. Yeah. And don't forget to like the video, share this episode, whether on video or podcast. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are listening on iTunes, we would love it and appreciate it if you gave us a review on iTunes. Let us know if this episode has helped you. This will help us get found in iTunes, which will in turn help us help people like you to grow their business. So thank you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. We hope that you have a movie of this vision going in your head and share with us what that is. We'll see you next time. Bye.